Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be embarking on a new electronics project and I'm learning the best I can as I move forward. Oh, and you can see my reflection in the in the <laughs> meter. Awesome. So uh, today I want to, I, I found this cool thing on Craigslist and I wanted to do something with it. So this is a knife switch, your standard switch. And I, I got it off a guy off Craigslist who used it to make an executioner's chair for Halloween. Uh, this is a Trumbull knife switch rated for 60 amps, 250 volts. Uh, I think this is DC and AC. I mean, of course, it probably wouldn't matter. Uh, and uh, so I want to do this, now, do something with this. Now, I've already gone ahead and made a, a joystick out of this using an Arduino, and I might do a follow-up video at some point on how to use just any old switch as a switch for Arduino, but there's so many Arduino videos out there. I just want to use more standard basic electronics and get a feel for it. So, so I'm going to use this as a switch, and it's just a cool-looking switch. Uh, it's got this heavy piece of slate on the back of it, um, just a beefy, beefy piece, and I love just how it's just all this old gunky, uh, these old gunky screws on there, and it's got this wonderful copper patina on it as well. It's just a beautiful piece uh, of uh, of electronics. So what I want to do here is I'm gonna I'm just gonna work out the basics of this. I overall, I think my my long term plan is that I want this to be. Um, a light switch that will control a light, possibly the light in my wall, but this is exposed metal and I don't want to run 120 volts AC current through this on my wall. If anyone were to touch it, I'd fry them to bits and uh, no one would be happy. So what I want to do is I want to use something that would control the higher voltage, uh, which as you might expect, would be a relay. So this is a standard. Uh, let's see here. My lighting is could be improved. Let's let's just move this up a bit. This is a standard uh, 120 volts, 20 amp uh, AC relay, DC as well. Um, now I've already gone ahead and played with this a little bit, and I'm gonna kind of just walk through this a little bit as well. So this has five pins on it. This is a uh, single pole double throw SPDT relay. And what that means is that it takes in a voltage on, one, on, on these pins. And when it has a voltage, then it opens up the norm, the normally closed pin becomes open. So this pin is always has uh, power applied to it. This is one of two possible output pins. One is normally open and one is normally closed. So we'll, we'll kind of look at that real fast and listen for the little click and, and see what's going on. So I have a couple old 18650s in connected to a couple um, uh, JST connectors here. These are from an old mountain bike uh, light, cheapo mountain bike light off of eBay that I got. Sorry, Amazon. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some basic voltage to this and then I'll use my multimeter to show continuity on that voltage. So I've got a few alligator clips here. So I'll go ahead and connect the positive to one connector like so. And then the negative to one end here. And you'll notice that as soon as I connect, and let's see if I can get close to the microphone so it can be heard too. As soon as I touch this, you can hear that. You can hear that clicking. And I can feel it in my hand as it's moving. So if I put that on there, it's on. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick continuity test on the other pin. So let me just put a couple uh, 
a uh, couple all get clips here. So I'm going to connect that. I'm going to put this onto continuity mode. And then on this end of that alligator clip, I'll put my positive. And then on my negative, well, let's see, do I have any more black alligator clips? I do. Okay, great. All right. On this end, I'll put that there and connect the other end here to my multimeter. Now, as you can see, nothing happened, meaning that there's nothing going through, no, there's no power going through there. So, if I switch this over to this one here, I have continuity. This one here, I have none. Now, as soon as I go ahead and connect this one over here, I now have continuity. And that's the general gist of how a relay works. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the cool thing about this relay, right, is that I can apply a small voltage to it on these pins and get a extremely high voltage off of these. I can go uh, 120 volts at 20 amps if I wanted to. Now, Let's see this in action. Let's go ahead and apply a couple power sources here and see what happens. So go ahead and turn this off briefly. And on this end here, we'll just uh, we'll set this up for the switch first, actually. So we'll go ahead and connect the um, the relay up like so, but we'll go ahead and we'll take this off here and we'll connect this to this end and then we'll put another alligator clip, let's see, and I'm out of all the white ones, so, or all the red ones, so I'll just use a white one. So this one here onto that and connect it over here to this. Push that out a bit. There we go. Okay. So now you can hear it clicking. And voila, a switch that switches it on and off. And it does this using a small amount of voltage. So the question is, how much voltage does this actually draw? Well, uh, not too much, so let's go ahead and quickly uh, do a uh, voltage test on here and see how much uh, draw it actually is. So the uh, put the white onto that's my positive, no, my negative. I don't know if it even matters actually. Now that I think about it. Um, So I'll go ahead and put the continuity of this onto my negative, and then put this on here. And I'm seeing negative four. Oh, I have it on voltage, not amperage. So let's put it on DC amperage, and this is auto range finding, so that's easy. Oh, this is the broken voltage. Uh, this this has a blown fuse. I have to use the other multimeter me, meter for this to measure this. So one sec. All right. So now I have the switch connected at one end here, and I'm going to put the other end over here, and we should see an output of how many milliamps it's using. Oh, I have it reversed, but it is taking a 120 milliamp draw. Now, I do believe that's what this is rated for. You don't need a resistor um, on here. If this was solid state electronics, you'd have to use a, I, I forget what kind of dial, like a resist, uh, some kind of 
diode to stop um, any kind of backlash from occurring from transient voltage or something like that. I forget the details. Uh, but since this is not solid state electronics, and I'm just using an old fashioned knife switch, it makes this a lot easier. So, so it takes about 160 milliamps of, or 120 milliamps of power off of that. And uh, we'll go ahead and connect this straight up to that. Now, let's get it to power something. Now, um, I have here a pretty straightforward little device. It's essentially a resistor with an LED, but I also have this um, uh, step up uh, voltage converter here so I can get five volts out of a single 18650. So I'm going to go ahead and wire this up pretty quickly. And what this will allow us to do is just kind of show up a nice little pretty light real fast. So, so um, I will use another battery pack, right? So we need essentially two power sources here. We have one power source that's the relay and then the other power source controls the um, power. So, so here we have this LED and I'll put the negative of this 18650 into there and I'll put the um, positive in here and no that's not right is it <laughs> uh, nope all right I need to put um, the voltage in and voltage out uh, correct connect that correctly and I do not want those touching that um, get away from there um, all right so let's go ahead and put the positive Of that onto the positive of the voltage converter and I've already set this voltage converter to convert up to 5 volts uh, so that that makes this a little bit easier and uh, we'll use we'll use this green here to connect from here I really should put like a like a female JST connector on this voltage converter just make my life easier. Uh, put those on there and then we'll go ahead and put the voltage out. That's just a, this will be positive. To the positive of the diode and the negative sorry that's an LED uh, I guess well, it's a diode right and then that goes onto the negative side of the resistor now as you can see there's no power going through that right because Why is there no power going through that? There should be power going through that, should there? Green, red, yep. Oh, there it goes. All right. So now we have power going through uh, to the red LED there. Uh, just got to shake it around a little bit, I guess, right? So now what if we want to have this contraption here controlled by our relay? Well, with the relay, what we can do is simply take these plugs here and put them on there, and that's pretty much it. So this plug, or this plug goes under here. This plug goes on to here. And then we need a cable that goes from here, from the negative uh, of the, the uh, resistor.
to the uh, normally closed position of the relay. Now if we did the normally open position, we should see light right away. Yep, there we go. So we could have that on and then we can have it off by default there. And then when we flip our switch, we are now controlling this power supply over here with this switch right here. All right, that's kind of it. That's all I really wanted to do there uh, is kind of show off a relay and a couple power sources. We got our two separate power sources being controlled uh, by this relay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was interesting and useful. The next step in this project is to modify this knife switch to use higher voltage AC, uh, which is, is a, isn't, a, isn't a huge change, but the idea is to play with higher voltage. And I just didn't feel comfortable doing a video with that just yet. Um, I wanted to know what I'm talking about a little bit more uh, as, I, as I work through this. All right. Well, thank you very much. Have a good one.